So, I bought some books recently, and my bookshelf started looking like this. Let's fix it. Time for an Ikea haul. So I have the book cart slash the Raskog in yellow. Hopefully it doesn't clash with my walls, so we're gonna see. And then I just got some like decor stuff. So I got these little flowers and a little basket pot thing with some little fairy lights and some rocks, <laughs> which I bought to go in this. Because I think the rocks and the fairy lights in this would be really cute. And then, lastly, I got this little plant that's supposed to like be hangy like that. And I thought it would be cute hanging over the edge of the cart. So, those are our things. Let's start building. Okay, I feel like IKEA is kind of notorious for having terrible instructions. So, I have no idea how long this is going to take me. <laughs> but, we're about to find out. I'm already confused because on page one, I have to assume that this man is telling me that I don't need a screwdriver. But then on page two, it's screwing a screw in. So I guess I'll go get a screwdriver. I have made a mess. We now have something resembling of a cart. And I think I'm just not gonna put the wheels on it because I have carpet anyway, so I feel like it's kind of useless to me. I'm gonna clean this up and then we're going to start organizing and decorating. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I want to declutter some of my books and donate them because there's a few I have from when I was a lot younger that I know I'm not gonna read again or ones that I never read and I don't wanna read. We'll start with that and then we'll start organizing the cards over here. accidentally stole from my high school library, I think. It's in French. I don't know if I should keep it. My French has got progressively worse in the last seven years, so I feel like this will not be readable for me. I also have this Riverdale book. Yeah. When can I kiss you again? Cause baby, it feels like forever. Did anyone else read the Bone graphic novels when they were younger? Because I was obsessed with this series. And I, I mean, I don't know if there's more, but I have books one to nine. And I also kind of want to reread these. Like, they actually look really cool. I don't know if you can see, but like, they're really beautiful. When can I hold you again? question is, do I keep the Divergent series? It's not my favorite, and I don't think I will ever reread it. I don't even know if I finished Allegiant, honestly. I might donate it. I have the box set of The Hunger Games, which I also want to reread soon, and maybe reread them before I read the Song of Ballads and... the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes? Snakes and Songbirds? You know what I'm talking about. I was obsessed with this series as a kid, Delirium. I reread this in grade 12 and it honestly didn't hold up that well. don't know how I'm gonna organize this. I know a lot of people do by color, but it really bothers me if a series isn't together. I think I might do this by genre.
top shelf will be books I haven't read yet. So all my physical TBR, which is really small. I only really have like eight maybe <laughs> that I haven't read yet. And then I'm thinking on this shelf, I'll put Heartstopper and then some fun decorations. And then on the bottom shelf, I think I'll put the entire Percy Jackson series. <laughs> Let's try it out. We'll see. <laughs> Perfectly. Should I put the Scooby Doo book on the cards? <laughs> Let's do this for now. Perfect. So I was thinking we could put this for the end. Like that. Is that cute? I think it's cute. I'm thinking maybe we can put this in here with like the fairy lights. Um, I'm gonna fill it with rocks because I have them. Is it artsy or is it a waste of money? Okay, I think maybe the rocks were not a good idea because then the lights don't really fit. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put the rocks in here and then use it as like a bookend instead because they'll make it heavier. <laughs> down here but I think that's okay because there's room to grow. <laughs> I think we're pretty much done. Okay a few days later I'm in my pajamas and I got a few new books so we're gonna do a full tour now of the bookshelf I also kind of moved a few things around so let's see the final results we got a little bit of a closer look now so my original intention was for the top shelf to be fantasy and then this middle shelf here to be romance mystery basically every other genre but I realized that I only pretty much own fantasy. So the majority of this bookshelf is just fantasy. But this bookshelf has all the books that I've already read that I have and then I put books that I haven't read yet on my TBR cart. Up here we have the Hunger Games series and then Enclave series which I honestly can't really remember what it's about but I think it's like also a dystopian world. This was the dystopian era <laughs> where there's like monsters and people have to live underground and stuff. I should really reread it. Then we have the Maze Runner which I also really want to reread. I have the Tiger's Curse which was a really fun series but it's basically about these brothers that can turn into tigers and it's like a love triangle we don't need to unpack that and then we have witch and wizard the whole series the cruel prince i only have the first book because i have the rest on my kindle but i would love to get the full series one day because i love that series and then six of crows and crooked kingdom i love you know this we know this hellvents which is massive compared to the rest of these books but we're gonna ignore that and then for some reason i have a very chaotic selection of cassandra clare books i have the first two in the infernal devices series. I should probably get the third one. I don't even know if I've read the third one because it's been so long. And then I have the first three of City of Bones and then the sixth one. Again, I don't know why. And then I have a series called Unearthly and a series called Unremembered. I think Unearthly, you guys can't even really see. There we go. Unearthly, I think was like angel stuff, so it's kind of fantasy. And then Unremembered, I honestly don't think is fantasy. And then down here, I have a series called Switched. I don't remember what it's about at all, but I think it's like a fantasy romance. And then I have the selection, which is kind of, I don't know if it was classified as a fantasy, but it is like a romance. You probably know what the selection is about. It's like The Bachelor. And then I have Delirium. And then I have the entire Gone series by Michael Grant. I love this series. It's literally Under the Dome by Stephen King, but as if when the dome went down, all the adults vanished. So it's just chaos. For six books and I love that. And then we have Jurassic Park. I have The Outsider by Stephen King. I would like to get more Stephen King books because I really enjoyed The Outsider. Couldn't sleep while I was reading it but I liked it. And then The Inheritance Games which you watched my last video. I just finished. I'm obsessed with. Over here I have the entire Bone graphic novel series. And then over here I just have a couple of John Green books. I have The Fault in Our Stars and Turtles All the Way Down which I love Turtles All the Way Down by the way. And Historical Fiction. And then moving on to the book cart which I'm so happy with. On the top 
off row of my book cart. These are all the books I have that I haven't read on my physical TBR. So I have How to Kill Men and Get Away With It, which I'm going to read soon, hopefully. And then The Maid, Star Cross, There'll Be Peace When You're Done, which is a supernatural book. <laughs> I have Stone Blind, Caraval, Kingdom of the Wicked, One of Us is Lying, and then today I got The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes because I really want to read it before the movie comes out. And then I think you guys can see, oh yeah, on this shelf I have all my Heartstopper books, mainly just because they're pretty and I'm obsessed with this series. <laughs> and then I filled this little vase with lights and put my bookmarks in it. And it's sitting on top of my Scooby-Doo coffee table-esque book that I will never get rid of. <laughs> and then down here we have all my Percy Jackson books. So I have Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Heroes of Olympus, and then today I got The Sun and the Star, which is Nico and Will. And it literally just came out today, so I'm so, so excited to read this. And this is how it looks all together. I'm super happy with how it turned out, and I love having all the little lights on at night. So that is my updated bookshelf book cart tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, please subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!